So tell me what your symptoms were that led you to the Fibroid Institute. Sure, no. I had um, bleeding. I had stopped. I was going through menopause. Okay. And I stopped bleeding for over a year. And all of a sudden, I started back bleeding. So I knew something was wrong. But prior to that, I had fibroid symptoms all my life. They told me I had about two, three, and they were really small. He said maybe the size of a golf ball. Okay. And then when I had started b bleeding, I had a lot of cramping. Okay. Back, lower back, front cramps, the kind that really make you grab yourself. It was painful. So when I started back bleeding, I went to my gynecologist, and that's when they did a, um, not an MRI, they did a, um Ultrasound? Ultrasound, yes. And that's when he found the fibroids. Um, he said I only had about five of them. Um, and after that, he was telling me I needed to have a hysterectomy. Okay. Yeah. And so um, how did you find the Fibroid Institute? Uh, working at Triggered, we have brochures for the Fibroid Institute. And I was sitting there one day because I was contemplating about the hysterectomy. And I just happened to pick up the brochure and I said, Fibroid Institute, I'm going to give them a call. That's and wonderful. See what my options are. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when did you have your procedure? In December. Okay. And tell me about the recovery process. Um, well, they recommend 10 days. Right. I, uh, after the fourth day, I was out doing light, walking around, light activities. Uh, so I, I recovered after the four days. I took the whole 10 just to be safe. Right. Um, and I didn't have any, uh, I had some lower cramping and that's because the fibroids were shrinking. Right. Um, I didn't have to take all of my medicine Great. Uh, for the pain. Right. I just took what was necessary to, um, that was um, on a daily basis that I was supposed to have, but the extra pain medication I didn't need. That's awesome. Yeah. And um, what would you say to a friend or a family member that was in the same situation and was feeling like they didn't have a lot of options? Yes, I would definitely recommend uh, Fibroid Institute to let them know you do have options. Uh, hysterectomy is not the end all. Right. Y'all, so you do need to do your research, which I did. Right. Uh, call them, the Fibroid Institute, call them. They'll give you a consultation. They'll give you all your options. And they even go a step further. Instead of just getting the ultrasound, you will get an MRI. And that reveals everything. Yes. And um, that way, you'll make a sound decision. Don't let anyone bully you or the gynecologist into letting you think that that's the only option that you have is a hysterectomy because that's not true. Right. You do need to. I would definitely highly recommend them. And I'm a test. My testimony. Yeah. Here I am. I'm, I, I don't have any pain. I'm feeling great. That's awesome. Yes, it is. Wonderful. Well, thank you so oh, much. You're welcome. Thank you.